changes are sweeping over the land. The approaching storm may seem violent and destructive to us, but to nature, it's a new beginning in the cycle of life. and minerals. These elements, when combined with sunlight, create the diverse living systems of our planet. One of those living systems is the rainforest, home to the most amazing concentration of life on our planet. These dense and beautiful forests cover only a tiny portion of the Earth's surface. Plus, they contain more than half of its land and animal species. Rainforests are also extremely rich in productive living systems, providing us with oxygen, food, medicine, and other elements essential to our lives. appeared as desolate as the desert, but over time, rainwater and nutrients gradually penetrated the hard surface of this land. Even the hooves of the mighty buffalo helped create the rich soil that would one day become home to the American farm. Of all the forces at work on the land, humans have had one of the most profound effects. The need to produce food for a growing world has led to the enormous use and sometimes overuse of the land. Our search for more efficient ways to grow food, we often fail to realize the impact of our methods. Discovering better ways to grow food that will assure both human and environmental well-being. to reduce the need for pesticides by using natural predators like ladybugs and wasps to control pests. In Japan, we're learning that by adding composted leaves and other plant material to our soil, we can reduce the need for fertilizers. In farmlands across America, we're learning that by plowing under vegetation containing natural fertilizers, we can enrich the soil without How will we meet tomorrow's growing needs for food production, yet 
still respect the needs of the land. Some of the questions are being discovered just ahead of a unique, living greenhouse environment. To help us maintain these carefully controlled ecosystems, and for your safety, please remain seated in your boat at all times. In these living laboratories, scientists from Epcot, the U.S. Department of Agriculture, and Nestling are exploring innovative ways to produce bountiful harvests now and into the future. The tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these, like bananas, cacao, coffee, and rice, are well known around the world. Others, like the jackfruit, fluted pumpkins, and dragon fruit growing here, represent the vast number of lesser known tropical plants. Many of these are exceptionally high in vitamins and nutrients. Others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. The fluted pumpkin with its edible seeds and leaves thrives in the poorest soil conditions of Africa, making it a potential staple for millions of people. The unique looking dragon fruit is actually a member of the cactus family. The fruits are high in vitamin C, rich in antioxidants, and have a light, sweet taste. As we learn more about these plants, we discover new ways they can help us meet our food needs. One day, some of these may be as popular as the bananas growing on both sides of the boat. More than 28 million tons of bananas are eaten annually, making it the most popular fruit in the world. I've never seen that kind of bananas before. It's ugly. I've never seen that kind of bananas before. that like the flower of the banana thing? Yeah. Weird. When we mention farming, you probably don't think of fish, but fish farming, or aquaculture, is an innovative way to increase harvests and protect wild fish populations. Tilapia, bass, and catfish are three popular crops raised by fish farmers around the world. In Asia, tilapia are often raised in rice paddies where the fish waste provides nutrients for the rice. This integrated growing system improves yields and reduces pollution. The American alligators on the right were once an endangered species. Raising alligators on farms has played an important role in decreasing pressures on wild population. Nearly 30% of all fish consumed worldwide is raised on a farm, making aquaculture an important part of our efforts to produce a bountiful harvest. Here at the land, we grow about 6,500 pounds of fish each year, many of which are featured in restaurants here at Epcot. Jumbo shrimp. Ooh, broccoli. This greenhouse is full of some of our biggest ideas. Giant pumpkins and winter melons are certainly impressive, but their real importance far exceeds their record-setting size. These super-sized crops represent the best efforts of scientists and farmers to improve the plant balance. Years of careful selection and crossbreeding results in plants that produce more food are more resistant to pests and can even grow in marginal climates. 
And it doesn't hurt that one nine pound lemon will make about a gallon of lemonade on a hot summer day. These plants are definitely on their way up. Vertical growing systems like ours increases airflow through the leaves, which helps to reduce disease. Diseases and pests are two of the biggest challenges faced by farmers around the world. Innovative growing techniques are just one way to fight these problems. Using beneficial insects to manage pest problems is another technique we're using. We're also growing plants using our novel nutrient film system. By recycling water and nutrients, the system can save farmers money and help protect the environment. Here's something you don't see every day. Tomatoes growing on trees. These plants were originally developed by Chinese scientists. Tomato trees live longer and produce many more tomatoes. One of ours lived 16 months and produced over 32,000 tomatoes. Much of the produce you see growing in our greenhouses is served in the restaurants here at the land. The future of agriculture includes some high-flying ideas like the ones you see here. We already grow plants without soil throughout our greenhouses. That technique is called hydroponics. Now we're trying out aeroponics. Water and nutrients are sprayed directly on the roots of the plants as they fly by. In our lab, scientists from the U.S. Department of Agriculture are working to develop dwarf pear trees. The fruit will be normal size, but the smaller trees will be easier to grow and harvest. The goal of all these experiments is to discover new ways to better grow crops in even the harshest environments. Who knows? One day, we might even be able to grow food during extended space flights. These greenhouses represent just a tiny fraction of the work being done worldwide to produce bountiful harvests for our growing population. Of course, growing better crops is just the first part of the story. Once harvested, these crops need to be handled with care of their journey from the field to your table. Around the globe, scientists from Nestle are dedicated to improving the quality and taste of the foods that the world enjoys and relies on. Working together, we can continue to find innovative ways to increase food production and protect our precious natural environment. Only then will we truly be 